Good morning, Jim. Where are we heading? It's only 6 a.m. We're going to the flea market. Treasure Isle, to be exact. Uh, Monroe, Ohio. Monroe, Ohio. I don't want to say Mason. I know, I want to say Mason too. No, that's Kings Island. We're going to Monroe, Ohio, but we're going to Treasure Isle. Um, it's a better market for us for outside. Um, we don't go inside we just do the outside and really we do this a couple times a month and I didn't think we would even get to do it this weekend because of the 90 degrees it says it's going to be 85 today we'll see how that goes we'll stay as long as we can and, and when it gets too unbearable we'll pack up and leave but um, I'll put her in the truck he'll put me in the air conditioning he says <laughs> So tomorrow it looks like rain, so we decided we need to do this today, which is Saturday instead of Sunday. We have a lot in our trailer. When he got home from work yesterday, I had really tackled our garage. Because, you know, even though we have a storage unit, it seems like stuff gets filtered to the house. And I'm trying to get that away from the house and the, outs and the garage shelves for my eBay only. So... All right, guys, we'll keep you updated. We'll record at the flea market. Hope you're all having a good day, and we'll see you soon. Mwah. Love you all. Love you. <laughs> We're at the flea market. Wave it, everyone. I can come back to how much y'all got on this day? It's on. Oh, no. number one on our treasures hunting at Goodwill today. We got to see which color tag is the 99 cent, the color of the week. And if I'm seeing through there correctly, and I don't know if you can see through this glass, it looks like it's green. So let's go Jim. All right, green. So we'll show you some videos in here. Look at his mask. Wait, we couldn't record in there because of all the music and the violation on YouTube. So we will show you what's in our sacks on a recap. So again, this is number one. First Goodwill of the day. All right, this is store number two. We are in Beaver Creek, Ohio. Again, the music will probably be so loud in there we can't record. What do you think? I gotta put my communist mask on. You do. That's what it is. Hold the press. We got to stop for a second. What are we stopping for? Because some people were watching and ain't subscribed yet. Would you please subscribe? We, it's all free. And that way, if you subscribe and hit that notification bell, you can, you know, you get notified when our next videos come up, so you don't nip mess down of them. And there's some strange ones coming up because it is an adventure. And don't forget to hit the like button. We love you. Back to the video. Hey, Jim. <laughs> you want me to be clean? <laughs> yeah, don't say anything bad. What'd you find in store number two, Goodwill? Beaver Creek didn't have nada. Nothing. No. All right, well, let's go to number three. How's that? All right. All right, here is number three. Uno dos trace, is that how you say it? So we'll see what we'll find here, and I'm sure the 50% off or the, or the 99 cent, cent Sunday is green. Again, they play their music loud, so it's very hard to record in here. 
time. It's break time. I'm getting hangry. Are you hangry? I stay hangry. So we're going to Applebee's for lunch. This is our fun day Sunday. Are you having fun yet? Yeah, we ain't finding it a whole lot, but it's we're hot. Just to do scavenging. And this is why we didn't set up at the flea market today. Now we don't, it ain't raining down there. we don't know if it's raining down there or not, but they were predicting it all up and down 75, and right now we're north um, of the area. So look at Jim's toy. He got a new toy. It's a bigger um, dash cam so we can film what's going on in front of him. But look at this rain. We'll let you know when we get to number four Goodwill. Drive safely, James. Yep. Get him all there. Ding dong. All right, we're at <laughs> Goodwill number four, and I'm going to smack this man beside me. Let's see if we can find anything here. It's probably gonna be the last one of the day. We did have a really nice lunch at Applebee's. Had some good hamburgers. Without the bun, we don't eat bread. So again, green tags are 50% off or 99 cents Sunday. Goodwill store number four. And we did okay in there. Wait till you see what we bought. And again, the music was so loud that I didn't wanna get infringement we're not monetized but i still don't want to upset e or youtube in any way but we did find a lot of neat things for ebay and wait till you see one of the items that is not going to be sold as a whole item we're going to tear it apart and piece it out and make more money on it than what we could if we sold it whole well, or is it look it up whole so i guess we'll have to look <laughs> at that so but it is still raining and we need this rain, and our tomatoes need the rain, so. If it's raining down there. Well, we hope it is. So. The other day I come through the same area, and it, I was hydroplaning in the, in my work truck. At 30 mile an hour. Guys, he might have been right. We're getting off the highway. We're almost home. We were in Northern Dayton, North Dayton. It wasn't that far up the road from here. How many minutes do you think we are away from here? 12 minutes. About 12 minutes. Look. Do you see any moisture? I don't see any puddles. No, nothing. Puddles. No, like it had rain. nothing. We were in torrential downpours. Between Beaver Creek and Xenia, we was running in more. We, we was wave running. Yeah, and if you would have been in the right lane, what do they call that when it can... Hydroplane. Hydroplane, thank you. You would have hydroplaned. He had to stay in the left lane. He was throwing and, rooster tails in the right yeah, lane. Yeah, and there's... <laughs> it's not wet. My tomato plants. Now I gotta water them tonight. Jim, what time is it? It's recap time. We went to Goodwill and... Walmart to get arbitrage stuff so we can make some extra To resell? Cash. Yeah. We had a fun day Sunday, didn't we? Got wet too. <laughs> All right. So what do you got there? I have a Wii Fit. And you have several of them there. Got several of them. Because I thought that we could... Um, make a dollar or two on them. Well, I thought we could put some together. Put two of them together. And we got two of these. And we got Pixos. I guess you make little stuff with it. It's got glue and stuff in it. Yeah, I'm not sure really what that is, but I just ran and got this because I forgot I had it out there because I wanted to see the value. And it is a Wii Lego Batman game. And Wii's, you know, it has everything with it. The disc looks great. So Wii games have been really selling. Then we got Crossover Crit. Crisis. Crisis. And it's a Cartoon Network Cartoon game. Cartoon Network game. Never seen it. Not been open. Uh, so what the heck? 
Uh, try to sell that on eBay. And we got a brand new 1,000 piece puzzle. And no, we're not. I'm not putting it together. I ain't got enough time. Reflections of Main Street. That's a 19 by 30 size puzzle. That's a big puzzle. We got over there. I have a Funko Pop. And we really haven't bought many of these. And this one is Ryan. Mm. You want to say Rain, but that's R A. So Ryan. Um, the Dark Crystal Age of Renas Renaissance. So I don't know how we'll do on her, but we got the Funko. You found this, and I've cleaned it up. This is a wall. Um, yeah. And you notice he's been shaved. It's a wall hair clipper. And they've been gone for pretty good money on eBay. So we'll pick that up. I'll put it away proper in a minute. I guess you say this name is BioViva. Again, it is brand new. A thrilling voyage into the heart of nature. And I do think it's like a trivia game. But again, it's brand new. Still in the cellophane wrap. So we'll take a chance on it. I got one more thing here. Star Wars. Do you know what that is? You decorate a pumpkin for Halloween with Star Wars. So can you see? I thought that was pretty cute. We also got a motorcycle helmet. Got a good deal on it. Last two we've had down at the flea market, I've sold for pretty good money, so figure I can sell that one for decent money. And we did buy these Nike um, baseball cleats. I don't know if these are something that would sell right now, but we'll take a chance. And they look pretty nice. They're, I've not cleaned them or anything. I've not done a darn thing to them, but buy them. So we'll see how that goes. Um, Got a scuff or two on them, but it, I mean, they look almost brand new. Well, and you know, these poor kids this year, not many of them got to play baseball sports in school. So we'll see how it goes. Got one more item that we're going to show you that actually we bought to part out. It's worth more parted out than it is whole. At least. Oh, he's got to lift it. Oh, that wasn't put on. This is the door. We got a Ronco. Ronco Rotisserie. Is that called a Showtime? Showtime Rotisserie. It says right there. I don't know. I wonder if I put it on backwards. That probably wasn't fell off. You probably can't see it all the way. Did it focus in there? Well, guys, we have one of these. So for I'm what we paid for this unit, that door. the door pays for the unit. It pays for the whole rotisserie. And just there's about 10 parts in there I can take off and make. With well, the drip tray. The drip tray. That's like a basket. These two tracks right here. Uh, Didn't you say the motor? The motor with the cord and everything. And the heating element that's in the back. And do you know how we figured out to buy things and part out the prices? Is because we watch other YouTubers. Um, we watch others that buy pallets. We watch the storage units. They all talk about this. So it's a good thing that if you are a YouTube creator, watch others. You learn things. And instead of throwing the stuff away, look it up on eBay. I mean, you know, like your uh, Magic Bullet. Uh, the cups and stuff are selling for 7 $8. And people, you know, people buy them. And that's only for a couple. And if you have more than four, they're selling for like 15 to 20. Right. Just the accessories. Who would have thought accessories would sell for good money on eBay? So every day we learn something new. Yep. You good? Look. Um, and forgetting it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Does that go with age? I don't know. I ain't that, way. I ain't that old yet. <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't know you weren't that old yet. All right, these are some items that were found at a garage sale. We went to probably two or three of them. 
three or four of them. But got an Ohio State dirt, uh, sweatshirt. Hey, and that is a Nike. It is a Nike. I didn't realize that when we bought it. Yeah. We paid a dollar a piece for these. So we ought to be able to make three or four dollars on them. I got a Harley shirt. It says Harley Davidson everywhere. And it is a true Harley. Yeah. The, ta the tag is Harley. Tag is yeah. Harley. And it is from Amsterdam Highland. I was trying to see the stitching. I don't know if it's single or double. Alright, what else you got down there on that stool? And I got an, another Ohio State hoodie. Here, look at that. Isn't that nice? What brand is that? I don't know. Can't see. Jan Sport. So that's a nice hoodie. Yeah. Now, these are for a magic bullet. These are the cups. Let me take one out of the wrapper. You can use it with your blades on your magic bullet, and then you can put this ring Make on it. Make your right in it. And then put the ring on it. We'll put that on later. And these are extra shaker tops. And look, it's never been opened, so I'm not going to open it. So these will definitely go on eBay for... Um, accessories to go with the magic bullet so they can have their smoothies so that's a couple things that we found jim if we find this kind of buys at garage sales wait till we go on that 120 state route 127 sale i hope we find this good you stuff won't on believe here. this what do we have we have two three four five six seven eight eight with accessories long and burger basket with accessories right probably upside down but but show them what's inside of it normally it you don't find, you don't find them with the look at the liner normally they're all broken and each one of them has their own liner not all of them but there are most of them do yeah all but two this is the heart and it has a heart liner. What's the year on that? This is a 2001. I don't know. You should be able to see that. And then it comes with the lid. I'm going to have to look up and see what these baskets are called. A lot of them will have names. And again, this is a 2000. Here, I'll give you that one. Does that have a year? Can you see it? I can't see it because it's on a dark face. Okay. Well, go ahead and just show it to him. But it is Longenberger. I can read Longenberger, but I can't read a year. Okay. Well, I think this is pretty neat because it does have the metal tag on it. And it is a basket with handles. And it is a 2008. It is a 2008 because it's right here. It's on the inside. On the inside because of the dark bottom. Again, I don't know looks like a tiny picnic basket but it could be a sewing basket i'm gonna have to research and find the names it's got the lid and it has the liner so i think we had two without liners right mm -hmm. this did not have a liner and this does not have a liner so we have eight baskets with accessories and normally when you find the longenberger you don't find the liners. No, the liners are usually broke or... Now, I do have some other Longenberger, but I haven't even tried to sell them because someone took a black Sharpie marker and marked out the bottom, so I don't know if those will be sold, can be sold or not, so... But this was from a garage sale, so you can always find things anywhere to resell on eBay. <laughs> you right. scared what was <laughs> Jim is being a little crazy. He's having one of those days, so. Hey, it's Sunday. It, we worked all day. Well, we ran around all day yesterday, uh, and went arbitraging in the morning. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed our fun day Sunday. Did you have fun? I had a little bit of fun. Let's have some more fun. But uh, 
Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Hit the like button. Thumbs up. So tells YouTube we're good people and and that and that they liked our video. Every like that moves us up to be shared with or others. Or unlike it still moves us up because people are watching the video. <laughs> but you know what? So, whether you, you go this way or this way. And if you're watching for the first time, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. It's free. It is. Don't cost you nothing. Hit that notification bell and you get to see crazy people like this one. Yeah, oh, yeah, crazy people like us. So, well, thank you all for watching. And we'll see you in the next video, which is coming up. See ya. Bye.